they actually do stack. All right, guys, I am finally getting around to opening these stackable tins that have been sitting on my shelf for what feels like a month. Now, I've seen a lot of mixed reviews on them, but I want to find out for myself. So drop a like on this video, drop a sub on the channel, and let's find out if we should stack or pass on these tins. All right, guys, I've also got some packs of Brilliant Stars to open up today, too. Don't worry, we're going to chase some awesome trainer gallery pulls, but I want to find out what's in these stackable tins. Now, right off the bat, I think they look cool. It's a nice little change up. It's cool to see something different on the shelf than just the classic tins that we're used to. Let's look on the bottom here. So we're going to get three booster packs and one coin. No promo. I want to say these were either $12.99 or $13.99. So I guess it's kind of weird to not get a promo in it. Let's rip right into these though. I'm really, like I said, really curious to see what my pull rates will be, what my luck will be on these tins, because from what I've heard, they've been pretty bad. So if we can just get one good pull today, I'll be really excited out of these. And then at the end, we're gonna open up all that brilliant stars and compare that to the stackable tins. Maybe that's not a fair comparison. We'll see. Maybe the stackable tins will totally come out on top. All right, let's open this one up here. It opens cool, I like that. All right, first pack inside, we've got a Chilling Rain. Let's open this up. Chilling Rain, we wanna pull the Alt Art Blaziken V Max, or I would really like to pull the um, Shadow Rider V Alt Art. Here we go, four to the front for Chilling Rain. Been a minute since I've opened any Chilling Rain on the channel. Here we go, Water Energy, Agatha, Flannery. We've got the Old Cemetery, I really like that card, Snover. Galarian Slowpoke, Crab Brawler, Snow Runt, Weedle with some Kanto vibes, Drizzle for our reverse, and a non hollow Galarian Steampunk Wheezing. Here we go. Next pack inside, we've got Evolving Skies. Okay, so far, pretty good pack selection. Chance to pull some alt arts so far from both sets. Let's see, for Evolving Skies, I still need to pull that Rayquaza. Oh no, I did it backwards and we got a green coat. All right, you know what? Let's see if we can get an Evolving Skies error pack. Here we go, Darkness Energy, Swoobat. Does it look like these cards are like all double printed? Look how like, uh... yeah, all of the text is like double printed on these. Look at that, it's all kind of like faded. Yo, so we did get a little error pack. Melodic for our reverse and a non-hollow Appleton, and the Appleton looks normal. But look at the text on that Woobat. Am I just crazy? Has it been that long since I've opened Evolving Skies? Here we go. Last pack, a Vivid Voltage. Okay, so these tins are pretty cool. You get two packs with a chance for some awesome alt arts, and you get Vivid Voltage. Chance to pull that Rainbow Pikachu, maybe that full art Pikachu, or either of the Leon trainer cards. I haven't pulled any of the Leons. Let's see if we can make it happen today. Here we go, code card for you. But like I said, so far, not doing too good on the stackable tins. Here we go. We've got Metal Energy, Aromatic Energy, Galvantula, Swellow. Maybe my eyes are just uh, going crazy today. We got Whalmer, Weedle, Beldum, Magnera for our reverse, and a non hollow Barrascuta for our rare. All right, not a single hit from that first tin only thing left in here is the coin and look at that looks like you're gonna get a jumbo pikachu coin so that's pretty cool let's try this next tin out we've got the water type tin pretty neat i wonder if they're gonna keep doing um like all the different types and you'll be able to kind of collect them all you know if they'll do all the different energy types that actually would be really cool i think they're gonna do that i bet you we see like fighting type and um I don't know, maybe Ghost. I think it'd be cool to get our Psychic type. I think it would be cool to uh, get a promo in here though, because the way the tin is sealed, if they put different promos in, then you wouldn't really know which one you got and you'd kind of have more of a reason to buy multiple tins of them. Here we go, Evolving Skies again. I'm determined to get a good alt art pull from Evolving Skies. It's been a minute. Let's see, is the code backward in there again? Bam, that's how long it's been since I've opened Evolving Skies that I can't even remember which direction the code card is facing, but something about that feels wrong. I feel like it's normally not that way. We got Golduck, Palpitoad, Dweeble, Carvana, Flabibi, Slackoth, C Dot, Fletchender for our reverse, and a non hollow Amphiros for the rare. Okay, maybe these tins are living up to their name. We got Vivid Voltage. Has anyone gotten like a, an error tin with different packs inside or? 
all of the same pack inside or something like that or two of the same packs i've heard some people say they opened these and got two chilling rains inside which seems kind of weird i don't know if i'd be happy or disappointed if that happened i guess it would depend on the pulls right we've got loud dread Electrike, Execute, Eevee. Can we see one of the cards that I'm missing today? Maybe that full art Pikachu. Riolu for our reverse, hiding a hollow shaman for our rare. All right, so far, one tin in, halfway through almost the second tin. We've only pulled one hollow. Chilling Rain, like I said, been actually a long time, it feels like, since I've pulled anything good from Chilling Rain. Chilling Pain, people like to call it. Here we go, code for you, bam. And we got four to the front. Here we go, fighting energy. I gotta say it, I have to say it. Let's fight our way to a pull. We got fire resistant gloves, Crabominable, Deerling, Delibird, Larvista, Mareep, Heracross, Galarian Surfetched for our reverse, hiding a non hollow Zeb Striker for our rare. We are Zeb striking out on the pulls today. We got, oh, I thought there was another pack in there. Oh, there we go, Sobble Coin. That's cool, kind of scratched up though. That's a little annoying. Nothing else in this tin, all right. Last stackable tin, and this is one of each of all three types that are out right now. And like I said, it's just kind of like my personal guess that they're gonna keep making these maybe in different, uh, different types, different Pokemon types. I think that'd be cool. But like I said, maybe add a pack to these or add a promo or something. Here we go. Let's see if we get the same packs. I have a feeling we will. I'm really excited though to get into the brilliant stars. Like I said, I think in the last video, I've kind of, kind of felt like my luck hasn't been that great with some of the recent sets. But something about brilliant stars, I feel like it's gonna be my set. All right, let's get this code card out of the way without ruining it. There we go. And four to the front for Evolving Skies again. I'm determined to pull that Rayquaza alt art one day. Here we go. Lucky Leaf. Lucky Ice Pop. Interesting. Bravari. We got Hippodin. Dweeble. Love Disc. I think I said some of those wrong. Wobbuffet. Marie. We got Dino. Lit Leo for our reverse. Can we somehow get a pull still? We've got a full art rehan, and I want to say that that was a green code. Let's see, is this Evolving Skies? Green code, Evolving Skies error. We pulled the full, full art rehan, so I guess I would say the pull rates are pretty decent for me, I guess, on these tins. I was hoping to get at least one nice pull out of all three of them. Here we go, bam. Let's drop you into a sleeve. Always happy to pull a full art trainer. Add in another pack to my full art trainer binder. Another card to my full art trainer binder. Pikachu pack art again, though. They have, whoa. Pikachu pack art that doesn't want to open at all. I forgot how to open packs. Here we go. I always feel like, you know what I'm gonna say? It's like super impossible to pull the chase art from the pack art, but maybe we can get a Pikachu VMAX to appear today. Here we go, four to the front. And I think it's cool that uh, you have a chance of pulling the amazing rare in the reverse slot in this set. Here we go, we've got Blitzel, Slugma, Beldum. Can we get an amazing rare? <laughs> there we go, we got an amazing rare Celebi, right as I'm talking about how cool the amazing rares are. Maybe we could get a double hit. Ooh, a non hollow Mudsdale but I'm super happy with this amazing rare. I really wanted them to keep making these. I was really hoping for like a Mew and a Mewtwo amazing rare. I thought, oh, maybe with Brilliant Stars, we'll see some more amazing rares, but I'm really happy with the trainer gallery. Glad they went that direction. All right, our coin is jumping around in there. We have a very, uh, very tightly packed pack here of Chilling Rain that I will not ruin the code for. There you go, four to the front. I want to see that Blaziken VMAX. I don't know, for some reason that feels like one of the hardest cards to pull still. We've got Raboot, Scovit. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments how many times you've pulled it. We got Golet, Deerling, Scovit for our reverse in a non hollow Malamar for our rare. All right, is there one more pack in here? Nope, that was all of it for the mini tin. So we had one nice pull. We had that full art trainer pull, but now I've got five packs of brilliant stars. Will the brilliant stars outshine the mini tins or the, not the mini tins, the stackable tins. Basically, if you get to a Target or a Walmart or something and they've got these tins or they've got brilliant stars and there's a limit 
what are you going to pick up? I have a feeling everybody's going to pick up Brilliant Stars instead of these tins. Here we go, four to the front. Let's see some trainer gallery pulls today. We've got Lucky Leaf. We've got the Cleansing Gloves, Dusclops, Clink, Dedene, Cub Chew, Duskull, Farfetched. Oh, we've got Gabite for our reverse, hiding a non hollow Drudgeon for our rare. The Digimon Pokemon. That's what I'm calling that one. We got another pack here. Once again, these booster packs came out of a booster box that I picked up from a comic shop. So from what I've heard, booster boxes are pretty hit or miss. You're either gonna get like a really stacked box or you're gonna get kind of an empty box. I feel like I had a pretty average box. Clang, Cynthia's Ambition, Torkoal, Shroomish, Pipla, Turtwig, Sneasel, Clink, Ooh, Roseanne's back up in our trainer gallery spot, hiding a hollow Dusknoir. I feel like I have pulled more hollows from Brilliant Stars than any other set I've opened since starting the channel. Here we go. This is another pack that I picked up from a random shop I was driving by the other day. I always like to drop in to a new comic shop, show them some support, especially if I've never seen it before or if it's a new shop. Why am I opening this pack like this? I can't do two things at once. I can't talk and open packs, I guess, at the same time. Here we go, there's a code. Let's get four to the front here. Oh, and we've got a little V-Star promo. Not V-Star promo, basically you uh, flip this over every time you play your V-Star move when you're playing the game. Now, personally for me, I haven't opened a pack yet with one of those V-Star cards that's had a hit in it. So let's see if we can change that today. We've got Staryu, we've got Kling Clang for our reverse, I mean, an Agron V. All right, it looks like we broke the curse. We got a V-Pull or Hollow or better from a pack that had the little V-Star energy in it, or not energy, V-Star marker. Let's drop you into a sleeve Agron V, bam. And we got two packs left of Brilliant Stars. All I want to open is Brilliant Stars. I know I keep saying it over and over again, but I've just been having so much fun with this set. I feel like it's really some of the best luck I've had in a while, and I haven't even really pulled that much. Oh, all right, we got V-Star again. We can test the theory again. Here we go. I'm gonna say non-holo. Monferno, Gloria, Cast Form, Chimchar, Ball Toy, Axu, Nose pass. Ooh, we got boss's orders for our reverse and a hollow professor's research. All right, I'm wrong. So I don't think uh, seeing that V star marker in your pack really has any indication of what's going to be in there. So far, no hits from Brilliant Stars today. We've got one full art trainer pull from those mini tins. We got to turn it around today. Here we go. Last pack magic. Four to the front for Brilliant Stars for the last time today. Here we go. Now, I am putting this video out probably a, a while after I film it, so hopefully Future Polch has had some cool pulls, and hopefully some little surprises have happened on the channel too. We've got Farfetch'd, Execute, Grimer, Sneasel, ooh, Marnie's Pride in our trainer gallery spot. We got one last chance for a pull today. There we go, Agron V Max. How fitting is that? We hit the Agron V, and then right afterwards, we hit the Agron V Max. So I'm gonna go ahead and say pats on these stackable tins if you see them. But as always, Polge Pals, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every Wednesday and every Saturday, but until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I will see you guys in these next videos.